It's not G Black Art in America exclusive. What's up, brother? Hey, hey, what's happening, y'all? Hey, Rick, uh, introduce yourself to the family. Hey, this is Rick Washington, a.k.a. Rick Waz. I'm a painter, printmaker, and graphic designer here in Atlanta, and we're standing in the Southwest Arts Center Theater Gallery looking at the big print printmaking exhibit we did with Atlanta Printmaker Studio. This is an exhibit that features uh, woodcuts by individuals, schools, uh, they came together and we uh, produced them with a steamroller. So it was a big steamroller print. This is our print here. The theme is deep fried and delicious. And so we just focused on soul food or any kind of thing you can imagine. What do you think is deep fried and delicious? So we've got a Vinkins diner menu here. And this is work uh, that was hand carved, inked up, rolled over with a steamroller the 2010 edition of the Big Print Steamroll Project, and we had 14 different schools uh, in the Atlanta area that participated, from the Westminster School to Clark Atlanta University, uh, Abernathy Arts Center, uh, Savannah College of Art and Design, and the Hammond's House Museum, uh, among others. And everybody has their own unique take on it. Uh, the work is done uh, on a relief plate. It's the MDS board that we carved. Everything's done in reverse. Then it was hand inked, rolled up, and uh, run over with a speed roller. It was a blast, a lot of fun. How many, how many, so approximately how many artists would you say participated overall in the project? Uh, overall, I don't know how many with each group. I would probably say there may have been 40, 50 artists. Okay. You know, if you, you take an average of uh, probably uh, three to five per piece worked on them. Uh, we've got one piece that was done by Hammond's House Museum, and I think the uh, oldest artist there was 13. So we've got the kids' piece over here, which is a hot dog. Okay. Let's take a look at that. And what are some of the ones that are particularly striking to you that you might want to point out? Well, you, you have to uh, pay a lot of attention to the piece here by the uh, Savannah College of Art and Design. They have done some phenomenal work with detail and animation in here. And, and, and it's just phenomenal. When you look at the chicken, fried chicken legs driven by strawberries in a race, and a big catfish here. You've got a uh, little bunny rabbit here playing a game, shooting the peas, uh, catapult style off a spoon. We've got uh, some crawfish down here sitting on some uh, corn cobs, uh, having a fight. So it's just a phenomenal detail you have in here. You've got uh, cherries sliding down a water slide, landing on top of cherry pie. So I, I think they did a phenomenal job of, uh, oh, and then you got your, your, your southern lady, you know, with her, uh, her bathing suit on her Bama, a Bama lady up here holding the plate. So mm. it's, it's, it's all stereotypical, and it was really just a lot of fun. I tell you, I want to point out one from Clark Atlanta University. They got real on it. Was very significant. Was very real. And they, aside from it being a fantastic carving job, they really struck home with a very relevant message about really some of the adverse effects of this way of eating. Even though we were having a lot of fun and everything. You know, they came through with uh, a certain sense of reality to kind of keep everybody tuned in. But they, they did it very, in a very tasteful and very skillful manner with uh, the fabulous pig that they uh, carved here. Mm -hmm. And how long will the uh, exhibit be up? And this exhibit runs through April 1st. Uh, it's been up for about uh, three weeks at this point. So we've had great attendance. It, it's here, open to the public at Southwest Art Center. Uh, the gallery is open during our regular performance schedule, and you can check our website at FultonArts.org. Thank you, Rick. You're welcome.